Now, yesterday I released my official review of the new Amazon Fire TV Stick Lite. Now, if you're not aware, Amazon released two new Fire Sticks, guys. There's a regular Fire Stick and a Fire TV Stick Lite. Now, these are not set to replace the Fire TV Stick 4K. The max resolution on both are 1080p, but they do have some more differences, which I went in depth in my review yesterday. So go ahead and check that video out if you want to find out more about the two new devices. With the two new Fire Stick, they did come with Android 9 and this opens up the ability to adapt storage. So the ability to adapt storage has always been a feature on the Nvidia Shield, on most Android TV boxes. And what that does guys is, because the device only comes with eight gigs of storage, if you adapt storage, if you have a lot of applications, those apps can now be installed on the USB drive or whatever you have installed on your Fire Stick. So essentially it just expands the internal storage and makes it usable for you. So in order to make this work, you will need an OTG adapter. You will also need a USB drive. And of course, one of the new Amazon Fire Sticks. I'll leave links to the Fire Stick, to the OTG adapter, as well as a couple USB drives, Ethernet adapter, and stuff that you might need to make this work. Now, this OTG adapter is probably one of my favorites because it's one piece. Uh, essentially what it does, you plug it into your Fire Stick. It then splits up into four separate ports, guys. One's gonna be power, the other three, becomes USB ports that you can do various things. So you can plug in USB drives, you can plug in wireless keyboards and mice. You can also plug in a USB to ethernet adapter, which a lot of people use, especially if they have Wi-Fi issues. So like I said, check the links for those in the description. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a USB drive, how to verify that those apps are being installed on the USB drive, and also how to transfer apps from your Fire Stick to your USB drive. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So here we are on the Fire TV Stick Lite, and I do have the OTG adapter connected. I do also have a wireless keyboard and mouse, but what I'm gonna do is plug in my USB drive into one of those ports. All right, so you will see that pop up, limited access. So we need to go ahead and set this up. So hit the menu button on your remote. So it's gonna say you have limited access. Your USB drive is using a file system that is not compatible with the Amazon Fire TV. So it's now asking you if you wanna go ahead and format it. Let's go ahead and click yes. And confirm everything will be erased. So USB drive has been formatted. You can now use your USB drive to transfer data to your Amazon Fire Stick. So click OK. And now that it's all set up, we're gonna go up, we're gonna go to our settings. Go to our settings, we're gonna go all the way over to My Fire TV. Click on that. And on the USB, you have a couple options. So click on USB. So you have three options. You can eject the USB. You can format to external storage, which basically gives you the ability to Plug it to another device, you can put media on it, whatever. Plug it back into your Fire Stick, and it should be able to go ahead and view that media. So for this video, we're gonna use it as internal storage. If you choose format as external storage, it will go ahead and do its thing. It'll go through the process and make it available. So now if we go back to the USB drive, you can see you have the option to format as internal storage. So like I said, some people might receive a pop-up after the format, if you don't, you can go to the settings and just pick which option you want. And the last option is to manage install application. So this is where you can actually go in and see which apps are installed on this device. So I'm just gonna back out. We're gonna go over to our applications. We're gonna go to manage install apps. And the first menu is gonna show all applications, but if you click on it, you have two more options, guys. You can show internal storage only, or you can only show apps that's installed on the USB drive. So further down, if I scroll through my apps, the ones with a USB icon next, so it is actually installed on the USB. You can see live YouTube TV is installed on the USB drive, but if I click on it, I do have the option to move it back to the internal storage. And you're not gonna be able to do this with all applications. Uh, some applications need to still be installed on the internal storage, but other applications, you can go ahead and move it. So for instance, if I wanted FileLink, if 
I click on it, you see the option there to move it. However, if I go to downloader, you can see the option isn't there. So it depends which application it is. Some's gonna have that option, some aren't. However, if you install a new app that is compatible, it will automatically default to the USB drive. So keep that in mind. So to move an app, let's go to file link. We're gonna move to storage. All right, so moving this app to the drive, please wait. Moving will depend on blah, blah, blah. And you can see it's already moved. And if I go back now, you should see that USB icon next to file link. And if I go up top, of course, show all apps, I can show USB only. And it shows the two apps that's on my USB drive. So this is great news for Amazon Fire TV Stick users. However, this is only available on the two new Fire Sticks. Uh, hopefully they'll bring it over to the Fire TV Stick 4K. That way we can have that option to adapt storage. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. Remember, I will be leaving links to everything I use in this video in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.